8.30 with Ann Nyberg, Darren Kramer, and meteorologist Joe Fury. Some new developments tonight in the effort to save Deer Lake in Killingworth. A nonprofit which raised millions to buy the popular property from the Boy Scouts announced it has paid off the last of its loans. News 8's Tina Detell explains how they were able to make that happen. On any given day, you can find people fishing, hiking, or taking a stroll with their dogs around Deer Lake. So many people just enjoy this place. It's just a great spot. The former Boy Scout camp is also a summer camp and a place locals have enjoyed for decades. I'm grateful. It's always been a, I've always been a little anxious about losing this property mm -hmm. and having the Boy Scouts sell it to the developers. That almost happened a few years ago, sparking a Herculean effort to raise millions of dollars by the nonprofit Pathfinders. I said it was a Hail Mary saving this place, and, and they threw many Hail Marys many times over. Political heavy hitters lent their voices, and many others donated their time and money. 1,400 donors in 87 Connecticut towns, five countries, and 34 states. That's a lot of people to thank. The Pathfinders bought the property for $4.75 million from the Connecticut Yankee Council, which is the local chapter of the Boy Scouts in 2022. A little over $3 million in donations and $1.8 million in loans. And now all those loans are paid off thanks to a very generous Eagle Scout who would later fight to make the Scouts more inclusive. At the age of 67, he was kicked out because he was gay. In his will, David Knapp left the Pathfinders $750,000, which is what they needed to pay off the last of their loans. This, this is a, a great uh, uh, way for him to just be an activist once more. This effort to save Deer Lake began in September of 2021 when the Connecticut Yankee Council announced that it wanted to sell this 253 acre property. Now that next February, it tentatively accepted an offer of $4.6 million from a developer. And apparently it wasn't going to accept anything less from those who wanted to keep this a green space. It was just, just mind-boggling uh, you know to have you know this this large debt one minute and it was gone the next a huge relief for the pathfinders who say they are still working to protect deer lake from any future developers in killingworth tina detail news eight